In these images of lung tissue, you can observe the alveoli of the lung, a bronchus, and in the walls of the bronchus, bronchus-associated lymphatic tissue or BALT. This is not present in healthy adults. BALT can form transiently in the process of development in infants, in children, and in adolescents. While in adults, it is associated with lung diseases. It can also be associated with diseases in infants and fetuses, such as sudden infant death syndrome, chorio-meningitis, and trauma. As such, it would be classified as a tertiary lymphoid structure. Primary lymphoid structures, such as the bone marrow and the thymus, are places where white blood cells are made or mature. Secondary lymphoid structures, such as the spleen, the lymph nodes, payers patches in the intestine, these form in all individuals, so they are genetically programmed to be a normal part of the body, and these tissues are screening fluids, such as blood in the spleen or lymph in a lymph node for uh, infection and foreign agents. This tertiary lymphoid structure, however, uh, seems to be induced by antigen exposure, so not necessarily programmed that it will form um, regardless, but forms in response uh, to inflammation and specific exposure to antigens.